Air-to-ground radar modes are useful to find the target, navigate to it, and identify it for your attack run. Activate the radar using the R key. Pressing R again cycles to the air-to-ground radar mode. The Q key then cycles you through air-to-ground radar sub-modes. In the air-to-ground modes, the range and azimuth grid fans out from your aircraft's position at the bottom of the display. Your current mode is displayed in the upper left corner. Bearing is in the top middle and weapon selection is to the top right. Your barometric altitude is in the right corner and your true airspeed is in the lower left. The antenna elevation carrot is on the left side of the display. Again, pressing Q cycles air to ground submodes. Map is basically a navigation mode displaying general outlines of large, geographically significant areas. It is very useful in tracking along coastlines or rivers. Map mode paints a picture of ground features. If your waypoints are not functioning, map may provide the extra navigation needed to get back to home in one piece. In addition, nav can plot spots on the ground which may be designated with the TVC and handed off to weapons. EXP-1 provides high-resolution air-to-ground mapping enabling detection of tactical targets and detailed mapping. GMT is very useful for finding and attacking moving vehicles. Similar to sea surface search, it displays contacts as synthetically generated rectangles. To pick out targets, this mode looks for anything with velocity on or near the ground. If the target stops moving, the radar contact will disappear. C, or SEA mode, targets are displayed as small blocks of raster video. The backslash key cycles targets. You may also use the TDC to designate targets. There is no identification of a selected target as in air-to-air -air modes. Use the target view 5 key to visually identify the target. This mode is ideal for finding very small targets, however, it's up to the pilot to select from among what can literally be dozens of small contacts. C is calibrated to find moving vessels at sea and filter out extraneous materials such as waves.